Yes, that's more accurate than cooperate. Hmm, orders. Although I can't tell you the details, I can say that I was given an order that day. I needed to dispose of Bruce Goodman's body. Uh, okay, so Chief Gant killed Goodman, and then she was taking him to another place. That is what happened. You find, find it inside the trunk of Miles Edgeworth's car. Just as I suspected. Despite what everyone believes, you were not the one who murdered Detective Goodman. Correct. I was trying to take the body out of Edgeworth's car. The trunk's lock was broken, and I discovered that murder weapon while inspecting the body. The murder weapon? You mean Edgeworth's knife? No. When I found the body, this was the knife stuck in it. The knife from the SN9 incident. Serial killer Joe Darkest knife. I couldn't just leave that knife in him. So I took it out and stabbed him with another knife. Oh, that would be Edgeworth's knife? That's right. Even though he was already dead, my hands were shaking as at the thought of stabbing him. Yeah, of course. That must be horrible to do, even though that person is gone. That's why I ended up cutting my hand. And that is the reason for the bandage on your right hand? Yes. It seems that I got blood on the victim's shoes as well. And then? She saw me just as I plunged the knife in. Miss Star, huh? Why did you need to hide Darkest Knife so badly? It took a lot of work to finally close the Darky case two years ago. It was over with. I didn't even... I didn't ever want it to be opened again. My intent was to prevent that by whatever means possible. So, you hid Darkest Knife? The weapon used to stab the detective and was evidence in the Joe Darkie case. If word got out, which it would, the reporters would have a field day with that. So you wrapped the knife in your scarf and hid it. In Edgeworth's exhaust pipe. Right. Then I called my sister. To tell her what happened. And to ask her to hide the knife that was inside my muffler. You asked Emma? I didn't want anyone on the forest to know about this. Hmm. That would explain why Emma is so confident. About Lana's ins innocence. Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. A bad feeling? The truth is... After I received those orders from Chief Gant, the first thing I did was make a phone call. A phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall. To Marshall? Why on earth would you call him? The lead investigator for the SL9 incident had been murdered. I wanted the fact to be kept hidden, and I needed help. He was the only other person I could trust. Or at least, I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seems that after I spoke to him, he went off on an escapade of his own. Oh, you mean 
Not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. He disguised himself as Detective Goodman and tried to steal the evidence. He had already stolen the ID card, but it seems he still hadn't made up his mind to break into the evidence room. After my phone call, any remaining doubts he had must have disappeared. Hmm. Well, he was very very lucky that when he got into the evidence room, that he could open the, the locker because of the, the thin glove. Right? Hmm. So your phone call caused the incident in the evidence room? I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. But Lana, you've earned my respect, Mr. Wright, both as a defense attorney and an, an investigator. Now please, don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. Well, I need to do that. Tomorrow's trial, there's only one way to drive off Lana's demons. I think I have switched between Lana, Lana and Lana. <laughs> I don't know how, how to say your name. Lana, 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 Lana. Anyway, <laughs> something like that. I got to get the bottom of everything. Detective Goodman's a real murderer. It's uh, Chief Gant. I'm pretty sure about it. And what went down in the Chief's office two years ago. Yeah, they have killed the wrong person. Probably. Maybe. February 25, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number 2. This is the Defendant Lobby, alright. But there's no Defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma, for that matter? It almost seems as if something has been happening behind the scenes. Edgeworth! Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 777777 ID number is. That is. Yes, of course. Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday it's because there was still room for doubt regarding this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True, not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling. Five minutes, right, and Chief Prosecutor Sky will be found guilty. But she didn't do it! I figured you'd say, you'd say as such much. That's why I came here. To hear what you have to say. This is the first time he's e ever done something like this. Lana's hiding something. And the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth? Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today is the last day of the trial. We don't have time to reminisce about the past. Reminisce. That depends on you. If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. See you in court, right? This is it. If I'm ever going to find out what Chief Gant has on her, it's now. February 25, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 9.